Look who's here. We welcome to the show Rick Perry, former U.S. Energy Secretary. Rick, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the show. It's good to see you. Thank you, Liz. What did you make of that report? Because social media is having a field day with the White House press secretary claiming it's Republicans who want to raise gas prices. What do you think of all this? <laughs> Well, the, the, the White House press secretary is kind of a almost daily uh, uh, person who gets made fun of, but, uh, you know, that's, that is what it is. We'll let that set on the table there. Uh, the, the, the point is the Petroleum Reserve has always been there for uh, major disasters that would happen, you know, a hurricane, something of that uh, sort. This president is using it for his own political purposes. Americans know it, uh, tried to uh, impact gas prices by uh, using the strategic petroleum reserve completely and totally inappropriate. So H.R. 21, which basically says that uh, if you're going to use the strategic petroleum reserve, you have to allow for it to be refilled, if you will, replenished uh, by the use of our, uh, our lands, whether it's our uh, you know, national land somewhere offshore. We've got huge amounts of reserves, Elizabeth, and I think this is what's so important for the American people to understand. Massive reserves that are put off the table and we can't use them because of this president and his uh, leftist climate uh, agenda uh, supporters out there. So we need to have some balance in this, if you will. Uh, American people want to do their part to uh, impact the climate in a, in a positive way. American LNG, American natural gas, is one of the ways to do that. But this president makes it really hard for us to produce that on one hand, and then on the other hand, opening up the petroleum reserve uh, to use it for its political purposes. I think H.R. 21, uh, the, uh, uh, the American Competitive Institution, I think we just signed a letter uh, talking about uh, our support of H.R. 21 and its use. Uh, and a balance, if you will, uh, which makes a lot of sense. If you're going to go into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, then you've got to balance it by allowing for production on these uh, public lands. So why would the president veto that bill? Well, the, the playing to the left again. Anytime you say with this president that you're going to uh, produce fossil fuels, the left screams bloody murder. Um, and, and, and I hope Americans will wake up. America produces the cleanest energy in the world. When you reduce America's ability to produce, then you're basically opening up the market to countries that, frankly, may not have our best interest in mind and certainly are producing fossil fuels that aren't anywhere near as clean burning as America. This administration hates fossil fuels, and interestingly, they hate uh, the nuclear uh, energy that's produced in clean, small modular reactors, for instance. So they have a lot of explaining to do to the American people as gas prices. And I'll tell you where it's really fixing to hit, Les, is electric rates are fixing to go through the roof because of the policies that the Biden administration has put in place. Got it. I can't wait for the uh, White House press secretary uh, to point a finger at whoever that culprit is going to be. Uh, you know it's not going to be Joe Biden. Rick Perry, it's great to have you on the show. Please come back again soon. And we love all we'll those, we love the cowboy boots behind you. Are those all that yours? Quite a collection. That's quite a collection of young uh, cowboys and cowgirls boots. From, they're two or three years old is what uh, you got to be to wear those in Texas. Okay, got it. Those are pretty great. I wish I had a pair. Maybe I'll get one. All right, Rick, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you.